Hey everybody, uh, it's going to be really short, really, really quick. I just wanted, these were sitting here for a while, so I didn't want to ignore them for very long. And that's just rude. Someone sends you something, you should, you should get to it. So I'm going to do that and run through some quick stuff. And then it's going to be over. I don't even think we'll have time for chat. Um, but if folks want to say hi, absolutely go right ahead. But I'm going to run through that real quick. So don't be disappointed if I don't you know, get to your comments. Uh, it's, yeah, nothing personal. I just, I really don't think I'll have time because it's a couple gifts and and I'm out. So, no worries. Uh, anyway, um, hi to everybody. <laughs> anybody who's watching or anybody who watches later. Um, yeah, sorry, still getting set up. It was really just going to be super super quick. Uh, that's my Facebook in the background giving me a message because. I left that open because quick, like I said, haven't said that enough. First thing, um, to Sven Cosplay or Christina, uh, the flag behind me, the old British flag flying proudly there. Thank you very much. Uh, it's, it's a great little block so people aren't staring into the kitchen and making comments about my alcohol, uh, <laughs> positive or negative. It seems to distract a lot of you, so I wanted to take care of that a little bit. Cuervo, managed to peek out anyway. He's a proud guy. Anyway, so thank you very much, Sven Cosplay, for that. I do appreciate it. Uh, that's Skyrim in the corner there. Uh, Vivian's over there playing that. But we turned down the volume, so won't distract too many of you. She's hunting vampires. Anyway, so we'll get to the boxes. Uh, this was the one that's been sitting here longest, and I'll jump to that. And this is one that I'm sure is a gift because it's from uh, Marion. So thank you very much, Marion. I appreciate that. And I have no idea what this is, so I get a, a big surprise. Most of these are from me, so I, I rarely get to open something that I'll slide back to get something. Oh, I'm a Inspector Space Time shirt. Anybody who doesn't know what that is, needs to watch the community. It's a good show. It's a lot of fun. And this is... Oh, ho, ho, ho. I kill grave socks. Oops. I'm just... Killing the Vampire Slayer. Gargoyle. Ooh, and they have gargoyles in this. A lot of you are wishing that we would hook this up for what's the Twitch Twitch stream so you can watch Skyrim being played. This is pretty awesome. I love that game. Yes, these will complete my Killgrave outfit. No, they're not exactly right, but I can't find the Tommy Hill figures that he does wear. And these are really close, and it's got the, the purple and black theme, and he is, so he's a great socks. Thank you very much, Marion. I appreciate this. And these will be worn Friday. See you guys at Sack Anime on Friday. Check out my sexy, sexy socks. Cool. And that does, yeah, that's every piece of Kilgrave is now done. So thank you very much. Okay. Ah, very timely gift. I got a phone right down there. All right off screen there in front of my tower actually and this one might be for me i don't know it's an amazon so who knows? hey dr michael tan is in the house what's up buddy how you doing oh yeah you're in a different time zone that's why you have time to do this most folks in the u.s are at work right now so oh Candace, what's up and again, different time zones. She's only three hours ahead of me, so. Good. So it's been keeping you busy, doctor. Sharp knife. Always keep sharp knife. Anyway. What is this? In the fancy little box. How many cons do you do in a year, Michael? Kill grabbing a new set. Oh, did you get a um, a pulse missile, or did you find a uh, a close enough? Very interested in that. Also, you, you ordered nice. Now, how many cons do you usually do a year, Michael? I'm curious how many. 
London brings to you. I have no idea what this is. Comes in a fancy box, though. So. Ah, <laughs> that's what that is. That was the one piece I didn't think I'd be able to get. This is the watch for Kill Grave because he has that two hundred thousand dollar watch, which is ridiculous. I just got a uh, gold watch with a brown band that has the large head because no one can really make out what the watch is, especially in photos at a con. At a con. But it comes in a super fancy box, so that's pretty awesome. That just shot at me. Okay. No worries. I have no idea how to get this out of here. Okay, my watch is trapped. Uh, Mike, might be able to cut that little, it's got the zip tie on it. Be able to pop that off. Not too much difficulty. There we go. Get that going on. Oh, blue suit from uh, the nightclub. Okay, nice. That's not bad. That's actually twenty is insanely good. Good job, buddy. Congrats. There we go. Release is that. Got the little instruction manual on the bottom. Thank you. Yes. We will set and play with my new watch, and I will have my socks ready for Kilgrave on Friday, but I think that's about it. Uh, again, thanks for the flag. I appreciate that. I did want to cover up the back area there. I want to get something to continue it around there, which you guys can't see, but requires a little bit of engineering to make that uh, corner wrap around. I have to basically the end of the flag here. <laughs> is a wall and then it has a little probably two and a half three inch um, curtain wall that comes down from the, the ceiling that I could hang something to to go behind me here but this is just a little little alcove I'm in here that would be like a, a small dining room or something uh, in my tiny little apartment that we don't need a dining room in because it's a tiny little apartment so I made a little little office where I could set up the computer that's where I sit but I'd like to to divide it further, and um, anyway, that's that's future plans. Um, you got to come over to the states. You absolutely need to come out. Uh, come for Gallifrey one, not this coming February, but the one after. If you can get tickets to that, um, it's it's mainly a British con anyway. Uh, Michael, if you if you like to come to the U.S., definitely come to that one. You'll see all of your Doctor Who friends from England travel over here. It's a big, big British con. Uh, probably, I don't know, 60, 40 U.S. to the English population. It, there's a lot of you showing up that, so it's cool. Um, you feel more at home. <laughs> You'll understand each other's lingo anyway. Uh, yeah, you won't see them quite as... Uh, yes, you need to come see my TARDIS, absolutely. Get a lot of photos of that, because I'd like to mean Doctors to get a shot with as possible, especially ten cosplayers. Who I built are for nines and tens. It's it's also nines. It's that the transition box is who, uh, what I based it on. Uh, oh, Candace's keyboard died. I'm sorry. Uh, I don't like wireless. I, I appreciate the cord. I know it's always going to work. The battery doesn't die. Things wear out on when you go wireless. So less fun for me. But got a nice watch, big watch. I think it's. I always wear on my right arm. That's where I put my watches. But Kilgrave wears his on the left. So I have to learn to buckle a watch on my left arm, which is very difficult. It's backward. It just feel backward. I think the head is large enough. What do you think? Think about right? I think that'll work. All right. Anyway, that's all my boxings. Uh, anybody got questions or anything going on? Michael, I love chatting with you anyway. So, and Candace, you're always a dear. You're always here too. I appreciate that. So you're always somebody to talk to. Yeah, I got the partial Kilgrave sideburns. I just shaved today, so I'll have a couple of days of growth for Friday to get it going on. And then I'll do my uh, fill in powder to color in my sideburns to complete the 10th Doctor sideburns. That's my little cheat there because I left a little bit of stubble, shorter stubble here, shaped out like my, uh, like my regular sideburns. And then Shave this clean, so I'll be able to fill in the powder for slightly longer ones. 
What's going on? Alex, which, oh, uh, yeah, Ginger Doctor. Yeah, you have to meet Alex is a dear. Uh, great guy. Really great guy. So, okay, what's up? Wow, everybody's popping in for this. That's cool. It's uh, uh, it's called uh, Gallifrey One, Candace. It's not a British con. It's a Doctor Who con, but it brings in tons of English Doctor Who fans fly over from London. They, they make it their big trip to... To the states, uh, they hang out because it's in downtown LA, so they go to you know Disneyland and they do all the touristy stuff in America, in California anyway, as well as a really cool Doctor Who convention. So they make you know a week or two of hanging out in in LA, and they have a good time. It's a big con; they have tons of fun, and they come back every year. So it's a it's a big British con, but it's not an officially British con. It's a very American, very California convention. It's just BBC licensed as a Doctor Who con, one of, I think, three in the United States that is, that is allowed by the BBC, or that is sanctioned by the BBC, however you want to put that. <laughs> yes, Cat Sky is other cat, because we have Harley Cat as well. We have multi-cats. Cat Quartet. Anyway, um, so yeah, anything from you guys? Um, again, for those just showing up, I got my Kilgrave watch in the mail. I got the flag from uh, Sven Cosplay. And I forgot where I put my socks and my Kilgrave socks are ready to roll. And again, these two weren't vital for the costume because it's the uh, little details people won't really notice. But it completes the costume, and I love the tiny details. They make me very happy. So I'm glad. I'm glad I have them. So thank you all very, very much. Again, Marion, thank you. Appreciate it. And Kilgrave is above and beyond done next to the watch. Hmm, excuse me. And the socks are, yeah, again, a detail nobody's going to care about, but I'll feel better wearing them. Yeah. <laughs> we don't have to listen live, Candace. You can, you know, check it out later if you have time. I love hearing from you, and I love comments and questions from you, but don't. I don't hurt yourself trying to get to my little broadcast. How's your throat doing, by the way? Can you speak clearly, finally? Oh, video's breaking up. Yeah, I'm probably sucking up a lot of bandwidth. Sorry. But again, it, it's supposed to be a super short video. It's been going on for 13 minutes now, and it probably won't go on 10 minutes more than that. Because, again, that was, that was all I wanted to do. I wanted to thank someone for sending me a gift. I didn't want it to sit until after the con, because I, I wouldn't have time uh, to do it. And even if we do the video on Friday... For con right after I, I set up the TARDIS and we do our, our first day at con. I don't know how much bandwidth we'll have, first of all, in the hotel, and how much time we'll have to do unboxing and stuff there, so I don't know. Can't promise that I would get to open it, and I did want to thank Marion and Sven Cosplay for, for their gifts. I do appreciate them, and I appreciate it enough to take a few minutes out of my day and shoot a little video for you guys. Thank you very much. I appreciate it. And what else is going on? Oh, you made ribbons. Yes. Um, uh, Candace said she made ribbons for uh, Gallifrey One last year. It's a, a, I call it Ribbon Con. I don't know what else to call it. Uh, Gallifrey One and Anime LA are run by the same folks, so they have the same theme. They make these little ribbons. I have tons of, because lots of people do it. There you go. It's got a little pull-off sticker up here, and then they print on whatever they want on the bottom. I don't know if you can read that. How clear it is. Well, four things. Well, four things in a lizard. Yeah. But they, they make a bunch of those come in a bunch of different colors, and they stick it on their uh, their badge for the con. It's about as wide as your badge, and people just have either a long string of them. Some people make you know uh, skirts out of it. One girl made an entire ball gown out of these little ribbons. She'd been going long enough to make a gown. But they're really cute, really fun. Uh, just little gifts to give out to, to fans. I mean, if you see someone wearing your favorite doctor and you made a ribbon specifically for that or quote from him or something, yeah, of course you give it to him. I mean, that's, that's your little thank you for it. And it's also um, Valentine's weekend. So it's a fun little gift. People give out uh, nerdy um, uh, to, to, to Valentine's as well. So it, it's cute. It's a great con, and it's a great concept for 
um, just adding a little um, attendee fun, you know, because uh, the con always has stuff going on, but it's something for us to interact with each other is also a lot of fun. So I love the ribbons, and it's a, a great idea. And I'd like to know which ones you made, Candace. That'd be fun. I can see. Do you have a, any pictures of them we could share or stick them on uh, my uh, Facebook? And uh, you guys can all go go check it out because I, I love the ribbons. They're cute. They're fun. They're nerdy. 85%? Ah, that's good. Better than half is all right. <laughs> yeah, just keep drinking the tea. If your, your throat's 85%, a little more tea, a little more water, you'll be all right. Uh, yeah, the next Doctor Who con is February that I know of. Uh, there's one in uh, Chicago, I think it's like um, Chicago TARDIS or something like that. That's the other BBC sanctioned one. I don't know what the third one is. I always forget it. Someone told me, I think I've heard it twice, what it was and where it was. I don't remember. But there are three. I remember that specifically. And um, uh, the Gallifrey one is the only one I've ever been to. And the one that I'm sure of when it is. It's um, Valentine's weekend, same weekend as Strategicon. So if you can't do Gallifrey 1, go to Strategicon, hang out with all the nerds over there. They're doing games all day long, all kinds of tabletop games. Yes, I remember I need to make a tabletop game video to teach guys about that and what it all means. But uh, basically, D&D or Monopoly. I mean, everything, those are your ends of the spectrum. Everyone knows what Monopoly is, and you've seen or heard of D&D. They run the spectrum. I mean, you can play every game in between that. Basically, it's just tabletop means... You lay out whatever game pieces on a table, and you interact with other humans uh, and play a game. That's what tabletop gaming is. But it's a big convention based on that. Three floors of the hotel dedicated to gaming. It's just the basement level, so it's big, wide open, you know, yards and yards and yards of tables with little flags on it. You know, we're playing this game here at this time. And it's got, you know, the list of whatever it is. And you just keep going down. You look at all the flags. That looks interesting. Sit down at the table. Play with some nerds. Um, so Strategicon, same weekend. Hotel right across the parking lot. Uh, one's the Sheridan, one's the Marriott. I forget which is which. But between the two, uh, it's a great con weekend. I'm going to Gallifrey just for one day because it only takes a day to see everything at Gallifrey 1. It's very, very small. And then I'm going to Strategicon and hanging out. So if you guys want to come see me, they still have tickets. Uh, head on out. It's a lot of fun. It's my little plug for Strategicon and Gallifrey 1. Both fun cons. Should definitely do them. Yeah, the next Doctor Who con in California is is Gallifrey One. I think it's the only Doctor Who con in California. Uh, <laughs> I don't know of any others, and some you know everything includes Doctor Who can step into everything, but uh, specifically for Doctor Who, Gallifrey One is the only one I'm aware of. Um, so, yeah, it's down in L.A., so Kat, come on out. Um, again, like I said, you can hang out in the lobby of the hotel and see all the costumes and all the people. That's where we all go to get some air because it gets really hot in that basement. So we all come up there, hang out, you know, at the bar across the way. I'm pointing as if you walked around in the front door. The bar's over here, and the Starbucks is back over here where there's just a perpetual line of people waiting to pay way too much for coffee. And there's a nice little uh, foyer where you can all sit and everybody chats and talks who and picks apart each other's costumes and takes pictures of, you know, celebrities because they're all sitting at the table over there. Again, it's right by the Starbucks, a little forward of it, a little round table. I don't know why. They just all sit there and tradition, I guess. But it's, it's a fun place. It's a really familial feel. It's very close, very intimate, and it's it's good times. So, yeah, definitely check it out, Kat. Uh, let me know. I can walk you through it. Yeah, Candace, Calvary one is the next one coming here. So, yeah, that was thanks for the question, Ken. Yeah, Kat, appreciate it. Uh, glad I could answer it. I knew something about it. What day, um, whatever Valentine's weekend is, um, so sometime around the 14th. Uh, da, 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 um, I will, I don't think I have an event for it on my uh, tent cosplay, and I should. So I will make that when this is over. So check out my uh, my Facebook, Tenet Cosplay at Facebook, um, and I will I will definitely put that on there again. If you don't know my Facebook info yet, uh, just in the comments or not in the comments in the description down here, I have all my social media stuff listed out. So go on there, 
either click or copy and paste in your browser, and that will take you to my Facebook page, and I will make a, a Gallifrey One event page. Thank you, Kat. We're at, it's down at the, um, uh, I think it's the Airport Marriott, uh, down in downtown LA. Yeah, Airport Marriott Hotel um, on that weekend, so head on down. And yeah, like I said, I'll put the, the links in there, because I, I don't know why I didn't make an event for that. I should, I know it was going. So thank you, that reminded me, appreciate that. So keep the good questions coming, Kitty. Um, I don't even have my tea ready. Again, I was <laughs> just gonna do this. I was gonna take a little sip, it helps me pause. Oh, it's next to where you live, awesome. There you go, so I just walk on down. You can get really drunk and just stagger on home and be fine. Uh, or take a you know two dollar cab ride. It's you know, just down the street from you. It's not too bad. The uh, like, you know, it might be a mile, maybe half a mile from the. There's a in and out down there too, which it's walking distance to it. I've done it before. It's not too bad. It's convenient. And it's good food. So yeah, we rock that. But yeah, I hope to see you there again. If you can't, you can't get tickets to Galley. It's sold out. But if you want to come visit, uh, go to Strategicon right next door. Come hang out with us. We're going to be table topping and nerding all day long, all night long. So yeah, it'd be fun. Good to see you. Oh, thanks. Appreciate it. Um, yeah, I think we'll be okay. We're staying with our friend who lives uh, in Anaheim, so it's not too far away for us. But yeah, if we get two blitz or just need to pass out, uh, appreciate that. Thank you very much. Because we didn't get a hotel this year. It was just silly. Because we're going to do one day of Galley and then just float in and out of Strategicon, so we don't sure what we'll be doing, but thank you very much. All right. Um, again, thanks everybody for watching uh, on this you know, last minute post about when I was going to do this. Um, I'm glad you stopped in and really appreciate socks and the flag, you guys. Thanks so much. Um, and hope you enjoyed watching a corner of Skyrim there. Uh, I'll see you the next one. I'll see you at uh, Sack Anime. Hopefully. Hopefully, I'll see most of you there. Uh, so, thanks. I love you. Bye bye.